to our video series, Before You Tie the Knot. In this series, we're using stories with fictional characters to help us illustrate concepts that will help us to have successful and satisfying marriages. In today's episode, we're going to see how a couple that has differences of opinion can manage to still have a satisfying and mutually respectful relationship by focusing on their shared values. So today, we're going to learn from Khadija and Omar. Khadija and Omar considered themselves devout Muslims. However, they differed on whether to eat zabiha only. Before they had children, it was easy. Each person simply ate what they deemed most appropriate. Once they had children, they had to figure out a way for them to raise their children in a way that wasn't confusing and that didn't have one parent undermining the other. Since they agreed that consistent messaging was more important than each person clinging to their respective interpretations, Omar agreed to restrict his meat to the biha only. The couple agreed that when the children were old enough to learn Islamic legal rulings, they would teach them the rationale behind different Muslims' interpretations related to eating the biha. But until then, Omar did not feel he was compromising any of his values by restricting what he ate. On the other hand, Khadija would have felt she was compromising her values if she had to serve her children non the bihami since she believed it was not acceptable. So Omar and Khadija are just like any other couple, unless you know some couples that never have differences of opinion. Do you know any that don't? No. <laughs> and so all couples have to figure out how they can live together in peace, even with their differences of opinion. And so in the case of Khadija and Omar, they were remembering wisely that Islam has room for differences of opinion, that we have different schools of thought, and that in this issue, when it comes to eating the bihami and other issues, they may not see eye to eye. And so they sat down together and they talked about what their different perspectives were and what mattered most to them. And so what mattered most to them was that they practice Islam in the way that they believed was right and that they create a household environment where their children were seeing parents that treated each other with respect and that had a unified front. And so for all couples, taking that time to identify what are the values that we agree on? What's most important for us in our family? And then working backwards to see, okay, in order for us to achieve that common value, where might each of us need to compromise? And as long as people change their behavior without compromising their values, then they're okay. And so in this case, Amr was the one to compromise his behavior. In the future, Khadija will have the, the opportunity to compromise. And so over the long term of a relationship, both spouses are compromising. As long as values aren't being compromised and you're just changing your behavior within what fits your values, then each person um, would be able to share in achieving a mutually satisfying relationship and with minimal you know, arguing, so you can have differences of opinion without having major you know, blow-ups, um, you can have this household that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the Quran when he says that he created for us mates from among ourselves in order for us to have sakina or tranquility with each other. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world, and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.